Hello. I pretended not to see you there. What's up, fellow procrastinators? I'm Flamecom. All right, to start off the video, here's some kinemo for you guys. And that was all the kinema I had for Vivid 2018. Yeah, I mean, Sydney, every year Vivid is just the same shit. You know, colorful lights here and there, you know, sparkles, air and dust, and then buskers, you know, throwing flames everywhere. And uh, just circular key being crowded with tourists and people alike. There's numerous articles just asking a simple question. What's the point of Vivid anymore? More and more people now are just saying the congestion is not worth it. You miss this year? Well, it's not like they're gonna be making this an annual event or anything. Oh. Oh, okay, this year's contents were the same as the last year and the year before that. Oh, just different exhibitors, but just more of the same thing. Just, you know, a bunch of lights. Oh, oh, uh, that's, that's uh, bloody brilliant. Hmm. Innovation. Wow keeping the city alive, I guess. That sounded epic! On to the main topic. Now, I have it on good authority that a large amount of you who are subscribed to me know who this guy is. His name is Harry. He's a sort of small up and coming YouTuber who is on his way to stardom. <laughs> and his notable roles include typical update video number one, typical update video number two, typical number update video number three, and, uh, and so on and so forth. His entire uh, library of one, his whole entire portfolio of one video has earned him 400 plus subscribers. Now, sorry to you guys, but I'm going to give out full spoilers for what he talks about in the video. Basically, he announces his uh, recent coming out of the closet announcement and how he's found new comfort in his new gender identity and how, you know, he's flying the colors proud and also how, you know, he's looking for a soulmate and, and just basically how he's found a new lease on life and that he feels that he's unrestricted and that the world is his oyster and that from henceforth, he is not afraid of the social norms shackling him down and repressing him. <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm just lying here. I'm just making fun of him. No way am I making fun of gay people, okay? It's a joke move on. But no, okay, enough joking aside. Basically, in this video, he talks about uh, what he's been up to in life recently and what his grand plans for the futures are for the future of his channel. Because yeah, as I said, you know, in a sarcastic manner, he has an entire video portfolio of just one video. Now he's uploaded other meme stuff before, but uh, he's since deleted them. And I think that's basically all he says in his video. I can't remember, I'd have to watch it again. Uh, yeah, just what he's been up to recently, who he's been editing for, and what his grand plans are for the future in, well, his YouTube path. And I'd say more power to him. And additionally, I'd like to add, follow him on, on Twitch. Yeah, I'll just put a link in the description below to his Twitch channel. I don't know if he mentioned that he has a Twitch channel in that video or not. But yeah, go check him out. Uh, one time I tuned into him uh, playing, what is it, Baldi's Basics, and he actually got pretty far. And what else is there to say about his videos? Uh, not too much, but uh, at the bottom right corner, I think there's a bit of a subliminal messaging in his video. I don't know, like, I've, I've spent hours trying to decode it, I'm not sure, and I think I figured it out. You guys tell me in the comment section if I'm wrong or not, but I think... Okay, I've decrypted it. I think it's a subliminal uh, subliminal message trying to tell him to activate Windows. I think I could be wrong. I mean, what do you think all those crop circles have been, you know, trying to warn us about? It's been trying to tell us to activate Windows. Okay, what else is happening? Uh, what day is it today? 
I cannot tell. For, okay, from memory, in about a week's time, my next uni semester is about to start. Hurrah! It feels like the last semester just ended two seconds ago, and now I'm back at it another one. So that's joyful. So yeah, it's time for more creative burnouts. Hmm. On to the next news. Gear Seekers has just hit 2,000 subscribers. I only just made the last 1k subscriber congratulations video about two months ago. Almost exactly two months ago from the time of this recording. And in that same time, I have gained a total maximum of 37 subscribers. All right, and the last news, in my quest for a never-ending gear acquisition syndrome, I have acquired yet another, um, well, camera gear. This time it's called the Viltrox EF-M2, and you can't see it right now because I'm using it right now. And guess what? I'm going to be reviewing it, and that review is going to be my next video, so look forward to that. This ain't drama alert, this is flame com alert. That sounded way less cheesy in my mind, now that I've said it. Hmm. But to end off today's news roundup, uh, go subscribe to Ty This and uh, look forward to his future content. Another channel to check out is Gear Seekers. They are actually up and coming. <laughs> no sarcasm this time. And lastly, grab yourself a copy of Old Master Q from Hong Kong, also known as Lo Fu Ji. These are the uh, four panel comic that I grew up reading when I was a young and, and living in Hong Kong. That's actually like Cantonese pop culture there. All right. That was that, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, and keep on procrastinating like I am. So, see ya. Marvel post credit scene, coconut water, coconut milk. Ugh. People actually drink this on a regular basis? As a one-off, it's, it's fine, I guess, but... Dude, it's like medicine.